Beyond Mortal Boundaries, copyright 1969 by Annalise Guerin. Preface, Christ proclaimed, I am come that ye might have life and have it more abundantly, even life eternal. Christ never spoke of death, nor did he leave any teachings that man could be prepared to die. He taught only life, life more abundant, glorious, beautiful life. Yes, he taught only the principles of eternal life. He revealed the straight and narrow way that leads to life eternal, that so few find. At the same time, he warned against the broad open way, which leads to destruction and which so many enter. In the book of Revelations are eight verses of flame that speak of the blessings and dynamic powers of those who would overcome, even as he overcame. Christ foretold of the time that all distress and sorrows and evils would be overcome and added. And the last enemy to be overcome is death. He testified that if we believe on him, we need never die. Also, he proclaimed, if ye believe on me, ye shall do all the works I do and go on to do greater works. These promises have never been fulfilled or even considered. And it must be here made known that prime creator never planned death. Prime Creator permitted it because of the blindness of men's minds and the hardness of their hearts, and because of the gross wickedness of unbelief. Death is the dreary back door entrance into the other world. It is the servant's entrance. There is a great front door of glory for those who overcome. From the ancient record of Nicodemus, chapter 18, verse 12, in the lost books of the Bible, is given this definite information. It was when Satan returned into hell, boasting that he had the Son of God crucified and hanging from a cross, that the angel of death answered in horror, O Satan, prince of all evil, author of death and source of all pride, Thou shouldest first have inquired into the evil crimes of Yeshua of Nazareth, and then thou wouldst have found that he was guilty of no fault worthy of death. He even warned that Christ would be able to enter the realms of hell and release all the prisoners from Hades. This he did, according to the record of St. Peter in the Bible. And it is true, the wages of sin is death. And from the ancient writings of the great ones comes this word, Upon him who overcomes all sin, death has no claim. In all caps. Overcomes all sin, death has no claim. This book, Beyond Mortal Boundaries, is the record that reveals the way of life eternal, that straight and narrow way. And that path is so simple and so easy, a fool need not err therein. Isaiah 35, 8. This record also reveals the glorious triumph, march of man toward godhood and the breathtaking wonder of his divine lineage, the dynamic race of gods, his sacred ancestry. We have had fathers of our flesh who corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection to prime creator and live?